Okay, so we're going to run through the new uh, Biodex Advantage BX software. So we're going to go through the training screen. It's a very simple process. should take about 10 clicks to get the device up and running. Uh, it is a touch screen interface, so we're going to select uh, training. Next item is to select what joint you're going to work on today. So we're going to pick the knee. We're going to do extension flexion. We're going to start the subject or patient in a passive range of motion, and we are on the right side. At this point, we're going to set the range of motion for toward the body, which will be flexion, and away from the body, which will be extension. We then calibrate our goniometer to where the specific point of where the patient is at. We'll bring them to about 90 degrees. We'll calibrate the goniometer there, hit next, and hit start. Inform the patient we're going to run a passive range of motion, and there you are, you're up and running in the training screen, passive range of motion. Within the training screen, the patient can relax and do nothing, and what will appear on the screen is the weight of the uh, limb on the torque curve screens. If we go over to the far left, you'll see what you have uh, the ability of changing and adjusting. You have your range of motion limits, you have your speed, both away and toward, you have your torque limits, and you have your pause. So this is similar to the uh, previous biofeedback screen on the previous software, or the panel control, or the uh, knob control. We also have the ability of changing uh, from a position-based position -based torque curve to a time-based torque curve. You have the uh, torque, the range of motion, and the velocity. So we can take some of that information off the screen we just show them their torque curve screen. You also have the option of changing to a continuous gathering of information to just setting repetitions, time, work, and also based on fatigue. So the clinician can decide uh, what parameters they want to have the subject exercise at. Again, back to this screen, we can go to a position-based curve, which separates your muscle groups. We can also show uh, bar graphs for up and down. All your information is gathered on the right side in terms of what their peak torque was, their total work, and their coefficient of variance for that set that we just did with that subject. If we go back, we can change and go to a different mode of exercise, let's say isokinetic. We click Next. We hit Start and now the subject has to move. Go ahead. And as they kick and pull, again, if we've got too much information on the screen, we can take the velocity off, we can take the position off in real time, we can spread this out a little bit longer. So now you can see the quadriceps and the hamstrings exercising. Good. And that's your training screen.